Today we'll be talking about the first member of the Ten Commandments that actually did something. No, not you. You're just a fraud. Uh, you, you did nothing but cut out red hair, girl. We're talking about the best boomer, Galand. Galand actually first debuted in chapter 109. He's a tall armor dude running around and just clocks in and does whatever he wants, which includes playing golf at work and getting completely wasted before a battle. So we asked the question, how old was Galand actually? And in this video, we'll be looking at the series in two different formats. Wow, he's that old? What a boomer. Even after the series ended, Galan still had one of the serious introductions in the series. This guy he represents as one of the members of the Ten Commandments, he kind of shows out of nowhere with no magical powers, and he claimed that he was very rusty and he toyed with his opponent. And he destroyed all of them. It was actually it was a complete like destruction. He he showed that like why the like, Marylanders of Maryland were terrified of the Ten Commandments, and he, he was even even then Galan was kind of implied to be one of the weaker members and he was definitely not a pushover. They had zero answer to Galand, and they were just really lucky because that gopher little mind trick he has at the end, uh, he, he definitely helped them, even though he was on meds and he was naked for some reason. But after that impressive introduction, that's when he starts to lose, unfortunately. First, he lost his gut bond, which was, I guess it was okay. I mean, it was kind of a sword counter, and eventually Bond kind of got tired and stuff. And then he fights Melodas, but uh, Melodas was kind of like the leader of the tank movement, so I guess that's, that's fine. He was a former one, so... And eventually he lost to Escanor, which he kind of he kind of got wasted the ba the day before with his partner. He didn't even care, so I guess that, that was fun. But even then, Esk um, again Escanor, yeah, he lost pretty bad. But Galan showed that he was he he definitely has some types of tricks up his sleeve. Uh, he used critical over, which was actually which is actually a very powerful attack, but it just didn't work against Escanor, and that's why he lost. And Galan finally dies when Estoros uh, destroyed him and took his commitment. Galan was actually the uh, strongest character for maybe in the series, um, for maybe over five, five chapters, but that's still pretty impressive. Um, Galan is actually a very old man. He was actually 1991 when he died, so yeah, it's gonna uh, feel good about like beating up an old man or something, but he was, he was really old, far past from his prime, and I believe that he, his critical over was much better, at least in the past. But even then, at his old age, he was still 40,000, which was okay, which is actually not that bad, but if you compare the top tier, it's like, Un uncomparable, so uh, his prime was probably somewhere about 50,000 or 60,000, but that's just speculation and power level never matter that much anyways. But uh, let's go about the critical over. It just makes him way better at what he does already. Even uh, even Galan was one of the like quote-unquote weaker members. He was probably one of the most physically best uh, fighters, and that ability just makes him a better one, which just makes him into like a, a terrifying threat, even, even like the opponent were just stronger than him. It still makes him a, a, a threat to go against. This battle, we actually showed how strong Galan really was, was the Holy War. In that fight, he had to fight against Sorio and Tarmio, and it, the series always state that uh, one Archangel fights two um, with Sorio and Tarmio, probably, probably Rudis and Mile fighting three or four, or probably like five or six. But um, Galan and the other commandments, uh, Derry, Monspeed, and Fardrin, which was like uh, Fardrin and Galan will be considered like the lower tiers of the like, Ten Commandments, and Monspeed and Derry will be considered higher tiers. They were they were holding their own, and actually Galan did, he didn't do bad, he wasn't winning, but he wasn't like completely losing. But uh, it was a pretty even fight until Rudasso joins, but Rudasso, he's like one of the strongest characters, he has at least over 200,000. He had 200,000 as well, so he was definitely way stronger in the in the wars and he kind of wiped everyone it wasn't that like only galan lost actually everyone lost fraud and their a mon speed and him all four of them just got destroyed it's not that necessary that he was weak he was just simply outclassed honestly this is probably hands down the funnest aspect of Galan. this dude exists to have fun like while everyone was like super angry and salty about how to kill modas when they're released from the seal this dude like he did care about that but he he wanted to drink more that's all he cared about uh, this man literally drinks on a job when he's clocked in with his partner Malaskaram. He plays stupid side quests game with a bartender and stuff. 
like escorting and stuff, like straight up fighting him. <laughs> and he plays golf on a job. <laughs> Honestly, this dude just likes having fun too much. <laughs> and like I think that's kind of what screwed him over sometimes. But even then, he had shown to be he has he's a dedicated worker. He shows up to work, but when he calls him work, you just don't know what he's doing. Well, we don't see Galant as much as well. I guess I like in the series. We have seen that how he and Melisco are best friends, literally. Well, Melisco was a bit more uh, logical and a smarter one of the one. I mean, of course, is a look at Galant. He gets wasted before he even starts to fight. But when the time comes and they get in trouble, these two always got each other's back. Like how Galant dragged her out of the Omega Arc against the Archangels, and Melisco telling Galant to stop messing around, which actually happens all the time. <laughs> But even then, against his enemies, Galan actually always kind of shows a bit of respect, and actually he tried to mix a fight like a mini game to him. Like, against Bond, he actually gave the dude props, and while Bond just wanted to like straight up kill him, and honestly, I feel like Bond and Galan could have been great friends, because these two literally existed to just get wasted, and just not do anything the next day. Well, Galan was fun, honestly. I think he's like one of the characters that actually makes threatening and entertaining pretty well, despite how much he actually shows him in the series. Well, he was not super important except the first time when he showed how strong the tank was. Or he wasn't the most powerful or anything, but he was fun. I, I love watching this dude. This dude, like, honestly, like, he just didn't care. He just works on the job. He could have, he's like that one weird co-worker. He's like, he's like 80 or something. Like, all he does is drink and smoke at work. He can do his job, but like, you just know that he doesn't care if he gets fired. <laughs> But, I mean, I mean, seriously, I want you to look at this picture. This dude, he got his face punched, and he's still drinking, and he's having fun, honestly. I think that's just, that's just very, I, I will respect that. 